So this, this used to be home for Jim and Deborah Summers. You are looking at what used to be their bedroom. It was all destroyed last week in the storm. Jim and Deborah lost everything. And now, now they're just trying to figure out what comes next. That's our bed. What's left of it. Um, well, what's left of it, yeah. Jim and Deborah Summers returned to JNS Fish Camp near the Martin Okeechobee County line Monday afternoon, returned to what was once their home. We tried to salvage what we could. Um, there wasn't really a lot left. This is what the home looked like last Thursday morning. High winds from Hurricane Ian snapped a mammoth tree, which landed directly on one end of their trailer, launching the other end into the air. Jim and Deborah were inside. It was just the loudest sound that you could imagine. I mean, it was just, it was so, so loud, you know, nothing I had ever heard in my life. Everything was flying and it just tables wherever I was grabbing for whatever I could grab and it just, nothing was holding me, you know, nothing was holding she me still. She fell on my legs and then I grabbed her hand and started pulling her towards the door because that was my main concern, getting her out. Things just happened so fast. I just didn't know what to think, what was happening, nothing. Neighbors helped Jim, Deborah, and their dog to safety. That's the good news. Nobody was injured. But now, these two retirees are planning for a very uncertain future. It's reality. Life happens. And you, you got to deal with it, you know. And now we just got to try to get our act together and start over again. And as they try to start over again, Jim and Deborah tell me they're calling every government agency they can think of to see who can help. If you would like to help, their daughter has set up a GoFundMe account, and we've put a link to that GoFundMe on our website, WPBF.com. In Martin County, Ari Height, WPBF 25 News.